Okay, so hello everyone, and um, today we're going to talk about the basics of uh, business. Um, one of the basic terms that we are supposed to know uh, in business is uh, stakeholders. So before starting the classes on uh, chapters, I would like to make sure that you know what simple terms mean. Uh, and the first step we'll start with is stakeholders. Now stakeholders are those people who are interested in and affected by your business decisions. So I repeat that, interested in and affected by your business decisions. So people who um, really what you decide or what the decisions that you make really matter to them, okay, or affect them. Now there are many types of stakeholders and it depends on each business, but I'm going to talk about the basic stakeholders that usually every business does have. The first one is the community, the local community around you. Reason? Well, the people who uh, work or live around your company or around a factory uh, usually get affected by what you decide for the company. So if, let's say, for example, you own a factory um, and your factory you know, works 24-7, uh, causes a lot of pollution, and suddenly you decide to uh, double the production because your demand has increased and you now need to produce more. Well, obviously, if you produce more, you'll produce more waste and more pollution. So that will affect the local community because they don't want you to cause that pollution they want you to be environmentally friendly they want you to you know keep things clean uh, not dump waste in the rivers and you know etc so they are your first stakeholders and you need to make sure you keep them happy so you need to make sure you recycle you're environmentally friendly you don't dump your waste uh, wherever it feels like okay so your community is your first stakeholder the second stakeholder obviously is the customer. Why? Because your customers do get affected by the decisions that you make. Your customers want high quality, low prices. So they uh, obviously, um, you know, they're interested in what you decide to do because they want to make sure that you are giving them the best quality products in the lowest price possible. So if suddenly you decide to increase your prices by, you know, um, $10 or by $50 or by $100, that will affect them because they might perceive it as a higher quality product. However, they might not buy it now because it's more expensive. Okay, so the customers do get affected. Since there's so much competition, you need to make sure that your customers, your stakeholder customers, are happy. Okay? The third stakeholder you have is the government. Now, the government is definitely interested and affected by your business decisions because the government, uh, because you pay tax to the government. And uh, as we all know, the higher your profits are, the higher tax the government gets. So if you decide to grow your business, if you decide to expand it uh, because you're very sure that you're going to earn um, more profits, you're going to, you know, earn a lot more, you're going to gain um, double the profits, you know, twice as much, the government will be affected. The government is really, really happy because now the government will get more taxes, okay, more money, more income. And of course, if you shut down your business, the government also gets affected because the government knows that you're not going to produce, you're not going to, you know, be um, a factor for the growth of the economy. And apart from that, you're not going to be paying taxes. Your fourth stakeholder um, or stakeholders are your workers and as well your manager. Now, um, we would say why are you putting the manager with the workers? Why not with the owner which is your next um, stakeholder? Well, because a manager is someone who gets paid. He's not the uh, ultimate owner of the company, okay? An owner is a totally different thing. Manager also gets paid and the no general workers also get paid. Just the difference is that manager, uh, you know, has more responsibilities and he gets paid a bit more, or she. So why do the workers and manager uh, get affected by your decisions? Well, obviously because they want job security. They don't want um, to end up working in a company who uh, is at the point of closing or shutting down. And they want to make sure that if you decide to grow, then obviously they're happy because they know that their job is secure, they're going to be working in the company, they don't need to look out for another job, and they might even get a promotion because the company is growing and the company will earn more, and may maybe they'll get more bonuses out of those profits. So will the manager, because manager wants his job security, you know, he wants his job to be secure, he wants to work in the same company rather than search out and look for other jobs in a situation of... Um, crisis now um, so yeah that's that okay so workers and managers are definitely um, affected by your business decisions 
the next stakeholder is the owner. The owner is slightly different to a manager or to the workers, of course, because the owner is the one who owns the company. He's not earning a salary, okay? He's earning what he um, sells. And he, uh, whatever he earns is after paying you your salary, after paying the workers, I mean after, you know, paying all the expenses that a business can have. That's when he gets the ultimate um, money, the, the final money, okay? Um, which sometimes is, you know, roughly nothing because he has to pay so much, you know, the maybe the bank loans and the salaries and extra bonuses that at the end of the day, or stakeholders, or shareholders, that at the end of the day, he doesn't have, uh, he has hardly left in his hand. Now, the, the next one, the next stakeholder, and for now it will be the last stakeholder that we'll talk about, is the bank or the suppliers. Now, the bank uh, gets affected by um, your business decisions because um, if the bank has uh, given you a loan, the bank wants to know whether you're capable of paying the interest and repaying and paying back the loan. If you suddenly decide to shut down because you're unable to um, run the business or you go bankrupt, then obviously your bank uh, will seal um, your your business and will get a hold of your business. However, that's re a really bad um, news for the bank because what the bank wants is money. Okay, the bank wants cash. The bank has given you money, and then now the bank wants it back with uh, a hell lot of interest. And if you decide to grow. Great, the bank's really happy because the bank knows that now you're more capable of, you know, paying back the money, and the bank can even lend you some more because they um, trust you with that. Um, so yeah, if you uh, decide to close down the company, the bank will get a hold of your company at the end of the day because you'll maybe have that as a security for the loan that you got. However, that's a bad news for the bank, so the bank definitely gets affected. The suppliers, on the other hand, also get affected because they lend you the materials. The suppliers, if you suddenly decide to close down, then suppliers obviously now have one client less. They know that they're now will have to find another client in order to sell that much. Or as well, the suppliers sometimes give you credit. They, you know, they let you, um, they allow you to pay for two months later for whatever material they supply to you. So let's say they supply to you material in January and they allow you to pay till March. Um, if you, if your company suddenly starts doing, you know, terribly and starts performing terribly, you're not selling well, you don't have enough money to even pay to the, to the creditors, then the suppliers will get affected because the supplier has lost all its material, he's already given it to you, but now he has no money left with him, so he's at a loss. If you decide to grow your business, the supplier is really, really happy, it gets affected because now the supplier knows that you might order more materials, so that's more income for the suppliers, and they're happy because they know that sooner or later you're going to pay their money because you have that much, okay? Now, so hopefully you have maybe a clear idea of what stakeholders and who stakeholders are. Um, I repeat the definition for the last time. Stakeholders are those people who are interested in and affected by your business decisions, okay? And these are the six main types of stakeholders. So hopefully this has helped. Um, stay tuned and we'll see you. I'll see you in the um, next video. And please do leave your comments and let me know how it was. Thank you.